And I'll, I'll show you uh, uh, the, the method that's worked out here will enable you to apply the same method for problems that don't involve uh, evenly spaced, evenly spaced grid. But we'll just say that x sub i is equal to j times delta x. We'll assume that f of x is some differentiable function. And we'll use the j subscript. f sub j will indicate f evaluated at x of j. And so the problem we've got to face is how can we come up with formulas for derivatives of f if we don't know the function more than just the values at particular places? Now, you are familiar with things like standard differences here. But we need to deal with a question that's broader than that. How can you design differencing schemes? Uh, here's a standard difference. But suppose you have to evaluate a derivative and there's a boundary. So you've got a value, you might know the value at the wall and some points out away from the wall. But you cannot do a center difference if you're dealing with a boundary. It could be if you're doing ocean modeling, you've got a shoreline. If you're doing things vertically, you've got a surface of the earth that you've got to deal with. So there are some new cases. So what I want to deal with is a general problem. Uh, if we want to take some derivative, let's say the nth derivative, and evaluate this at some particular point, we're going to do it by trying to find some weights, W sub k, that where we, if we multiply the weights times the function values around the point where we are, that this will be some approximation. And that these indices k will come from some set of your choice. They may be centered, they may be one-sided, whatever. Right now, this just indicates k is an element of some collection of indices. And the approach that we're going to use with this is we're going to make use of Taylor's theorem. Taylor's theorem says that we can evaluate a function at some of the function at that j point. And then we take the derivatives, we divide by 